school year is Animals Black and White by Phyllis Limbacher Tilds. And again, this one is nonfiction, so let's review what nonfiction means. Pause the video and talk about what it means if something's nonfiction. All right, I'm going to go ahead and start reading. Animals Black and White. I gallop gracefully on the grassy plains of Africa. The lion is my worst enemy. What am I? So this book is really cool because it gives us clues about which animal it is, and then it gives us a small um, picture clue over on the other side of the page. So this one's pretty obvious. We can tell which animal this is right away. So if you thought zebra, you are correct. I'm a zebra. I love to graze on sweet grasses. I travel with a large herd for protection from predators. So as I read the clues, I want you to start thinking about what animal it could be. My large fins and flippers make me look like a huge fish as I surge through the water. But I'm a mammal just like you. What am I? I'm an orca. I am a large dolphin, but I'm also called a killer whale. I roam the ocean hunting with up to 50 of my friends. I live in the misty mountains far, far to the east, and I love to chew on bamboo. What am I? I'm a giant panda. I like to nap in trees in the hidden mountain forests of central China. I am very rare. Rare is a good vocabulary word, so I want you to talk about what the word rare means and maybe use it in a sentence if you can. Pause the video. So the word rare means that it is not seen very often. It's very rare. You don't see it a lot. I swim on the glassy surface of a lake. I dive into the deep, dark water for fish. I have a sad, lonely call. What am I? So what animal might swim on a lake and dive into the water for fish? It's got to be some kind of bird. I'm a loon. I'm heavy and ride low in the water. When I want to fly, I need a large lake to get a running start. See how my baby chick likes to ride on my back? I wander through the woods at night. My wide striped tail sweeps the ground. When I meet trouble, I lift my tail like a warning flag. What am I? A skunk. I'm usually quite shy, but if I need to, I can stop my enemies with a smelly, stinging spray. I teach my hungry babies to look for beetles, grubs, and mice. I am a bird, and I fly gracefully beneath the cold blue waters of the ocean. But when I'm on land, I waddle like a very clumsy duck. What am I? I'm a penguin. I can swim for days in icy water looking for fish, shrimp, and squid. I take turns with my mate minding our young chicks on the rocky rookery. So the author says that the penguin kind of flies through the water, and that's because it just soars when it's in the water. It doesn't look like a human swimming like we do. I flit and flutter from flower to flower in search of sweet nectar. Although my wings look like tissue paper, they are strong enough to fly for miles and miles. What am I? I am a butterfly. I am an African mocker swallowtail. I once was a fat caterpillar munching on crisp green leaves. After a long sleep in my chrysalis, I become a butterfly.
this author also gives us more information in the back of the book. So I'm just going to read um, about one. I'm going to read about the orca. So the orca is the fastest whale and the largest dolphin in existence. It can grow up to 30 feet long and weigh up to 9 tons. It prefers to hunt in a group or school in coastal waters in search of large fish, penguins, sea lions, and other whales. Although it is also known as the killer whale, it is a gentle and affectionate mate, often sharing its food even when it's in um, captivity. Captivity is a big word that means um, even when it is not in the wild. It communicates with its musical calls. Family units remain together for a long time. The orca is also very curious. It likes to swim close to boats. But there has been never been a report of an orca intentionally attacking a human. So intentionally means purposefully. So there has never been a report of an orca purposefully trying to hurt a human. So my last two questions about this book are how are all of the animals in this book similar and how are they all different? What's one way they're all similar? What's one way they're all, they're all different? And my last question is what is a new fact that you learned that you thought was very interesting? Thank you so much for listening to all of these interactive read-alouds during